Good morning and welcome to the Animal Kitchen at Dome, Dome de Vida, House of David Rehabilitation Center. So this is where we take care of all of the food for the animals. So first, on this side we have two barrels and this is a grinding machine up here and we put the corn or the barley or the wheat and it grinds it up and we kind of do it not like flour but you can see there's kind of some kernels, it's a little bit coarse. Um, and this is our measuring cup that we use. And then next to it is a wet grinder. And this is where we've been grinding up beets. You can kind of see the teeth in there. And then they put the bucket under the chute. And we do lots of squash and pumpkin. And the animals really, really like that. So then back here is our latest delivery of two tons. We have uh, barley, we have some flour, and we have some corn. Over here are the specialty feeds. Um, the yellow bags are for the pregnant pigs, and the orange bags are for the chickens, a chick feed. I think we've got just a little bit left in here. Yep, you can kind of see it. And then the blue bag there is a vitamin for them laying eggs, so they get a spoonful of that. And then over here, for the geese, we have a mixture of wheat and a little bit of dirt, because they kind of need some rocks and stuff for their gullet. And then here is the table where we set up all the food. We always, as soon as we finish feeding, we fill it back up again, just in case in the evening we're running out of time, um, different things pressing on us. So this big bucket right here is for the baby chicks, and it's two feedings, one in the morning and one in the evening, and there's some specialty food in their pen that gets mixed into it between two buckets. Uh, back here is for the chickens, um, and they get four cups of the ground up wheat and corn, and then they get a big cup of their specialty food <clears throat> and a spoonful of the uh, vitamins for the eggs. Then the small bucket back here is for our geese and our turkey ducks and you can see the mixture there of a little bit of dirt and rocks and the whole kernel and we do add a little bit of the ground wheat in there and they also get a spoonful of the uh, vitamins for the eggs. And then these buckets here are for the pigs and there's six of them. Uh, this one right here has a little bit of ground up beet, and here's some that's been prepared by Sasha. And then it has three of those white uh, cups or little buckets full of the grain. And this is for the boar and two of our sows that I think are not pregnant yet. We don't want to give them the specialty food until we know that they're definitely pregnant. These three here are for the pregnant sows. We've got Lulu, who's already had her babies. Then we have Dolly, who is going to be having her babies on May 2nd. And then we have um, Daisy, <clears throat> who I believe is, is pregnant. She's showing all the signs. So we'll see if uh, Ladybug or Miss Piggy show signs of being pregnant. It's still quite early. So if so, then their buckets will be moved over into this stack. And we just have a bunch of extra buckets here. Now, we have a light out here and an electrical switch to help us. Um, over here is some additional very coarsely ground up corn and uh, corn cobs. And this right here is the remainder of our corn harvest. It's corn on the cob, but we feed it to the rabbits. They get some a little bit each morning, and then we grind it up, and it's really good for like the geese who need something a little bit coarse. And then back over in here is really just kind of our garden area. You see some of the <clears throat> little plows that we use back there. These are our drying racks for the onions and the garlic. There's our good um, potato sacks. And then over here, we have some more. I've been pulling out some of our tools. And like our hose need to be uh, sharpened. Um, and then our barrel here of all of our di different instruments. And then my garden stool that I use. So <clears throat> to the right of that is the bird barn where the geese and the turkey ducks are. And then to the left of the animal kitchen is where we've kept the mini tractor motor block with four wheels um, and we're thinking about selling that because we're just not using it and most of the guys that we get <coughs> do not know how to use it uh, no, don't know how to drive um, so it's just been sitting here for over a year and it's better that we can sell it someone can use the engine or they can repair it the clutch needs a little work and then this <coughs> room is where we keep some of the uh, electrical and plumbing and those kind of things now that we can lock it up and keep it out of the hands of the guys because <coughs> You know that idiom, idle hands are the devil's handiwork? Oh my gosh, if these guys get bored, 
Uh, we don't keep them busy. They get into trouble and they start trying to repair things that they have no knowledge of how to repair and it ends up making a mess. So back there where Little Boy is, is we've got the, it covered, that's where the summer shower was and Mark's going to be building a new summer shower. That's the outhouse for the men. <clears throat> and then we have the tractor shed here where you can see our big tractor. Um, and the tiller is on it because Mark tilled up the kitchen garden for me yesterday. We've still got a lot of uh, different things. I think that's his pile of metal. Oh, there's the corn stalk cutter there. And uh, this right here is kind of a sledgehammer that you put over posts for uh, doing a fence. Uh, Mark just kind of has everything organized. Our sprayer, <coughs> um, an old wet grinder, a cement mixer. There's the potato seeder, potato harvester. I'm not sure what's in the back corner there, but and just all sorts of tools. And then some more pieces here for the universal cultivator. Some toilets that were donated to us years ago that we'll eventually use. And then one of Mark's tool benches. And this is where he does all his welding. He brings the trailers in here and fixes them. Those kind of things. Yeah, so that's kind of a tour of our shed. This is the men's bunkhouse here. Old house. Not sure how old it is. Could be close to 100. Um, the walls are made of hay, clay, and horse manure. And then we've got our main house there, which we've remodeled a majority of it. We need to get the upstairs remodeled, and the men moved up there. And then our pavilion right here, which is where we're going to be able to eat outside. Above it is storage and my she shed. Behind it is our outdoor kitchen, which will have our brick oven and our grill and those kind of things once we finally get it done. And then th this is the old barn here. And we've got on the back, this tan here is the rabbit hutches, rooms, and then the chickens. They have their outdoor area and compost, and then they have the indoor. And this is where the chicks are blocked off right now. Yeah. And then some of our fruit trees there by the trailer. And again, compost where you see kind of the green netting to keep the chickens from flying out. And then you've got the area right in here, which is for the geese and the turkey ducks. So this is kind of our animal area. And I'll do some other videos. Since there's so many people who are new, um, just to explain what we do and what everything is.